Meanwhile, we've been programmed to believe that our melanin is a mistake, that it's somehow undesirable, that it's dark, it's dirty, and that it's demonic. But my question is this, if man came from dirt and humus, which is the darkest, richest layer of soil, why wouldn't the original man be too dark? Which brings me to today's truth telling. If you missed my very first video on where do white people come from, I want you guys to go back and watch that on YouTube. I walked through the mitochondrial DNA, the truth behind Bacon's Rebellion, and how the lie of whiteness was manufactured for political manipulation. But this right here, this is part two, where we go beneath the surface into the soil and to the soul. Because the truth is, a people disconnected from the earth become disoriented in the spirit. Yes, if you're disconnected from the earth, you become disoriented in the spirit. So I ask you this gently, but very pointedly. What if personality is tied to phosphorus? What if aggression isn't inherited, but ingested from nutrient deficient diets? And what if whitewashed violence was a system of soil starvation? What if the historical horrors of the Crusades, the colonization, the chains weren't just evil acts, but they were echoes of environmental malnourishment? Not just famine of food, but of frequency, function, and faith. Let's talk about the science. See, Europe after the Ice Age was stripped of its topsoil. What was left? Glaciatic, nutrient, barren terrain. That means crops were depleted of zinc, magnesium, iodine, and psyllium. Minerals that do more than just strengthen your bones. They stabilize your mind. They fuel fertility. They protect perception. See, psyllium deficiency equals sterilization and spiritual dullness. When you have a lack of zinc, it produces irritability, impulse, and irrationality. When you lack iodine, you have cognitive decline and decision distortion. Now compare that to Africa's iron-rich red soil where sunbathed vegetation nourishes both the body and the soul. There's rhythm in the roots, light in the leaves, and wisdom in the water.